How do wireless earbuds fare against wired earbuds for live streaming? That's a great question. Actually, today I'm actually going to take two different types of earbuds. We've got the Raycon E55 wireless earbuds versus the Mi M6 wired earbuds. And we're going to talk about this in depth in today's video. First, the tail of the tape. Of course, this is going to be a full on fist fight here. All right. It's going to be a battle to the death. Actually, it's not going to be that severe, but it's going to give you a good idea as to which one you should use if you're considering in live streaming and which is going to be the best choice for you. Let's start out with the Raycon E55 earbuds. They're actually wireless. That's a big plus. It's kind of nice. You don't have yourself being strapped down to anything and you can actually move around without slapping your earbuds out of your ears. It powers up to six hours and actually has really good high quality sound. I mean, it's got some thump to it. I, I'd seen many people pushing the Raycon earbuds saying, oh, it's great, it's got some thump to it and bass. It really does, it's not just hype. I picked them up at about $85. It was on sale at that time. Right now, if you were to look at it, it's over $100, and the manufacturer's suggested retail price is at about $120 for the E55s. If you go for the E25s, it's a little cheaper, but I can't speak for the quality and what the E25s like compared to the E55. Now, when it comes to the Mi M6 wired earbuds, I'm gonna hold them up here inside the camera here, it's wired. Ugh. And I, I, I hate having this wired option, but uh, this one is, is pretty good because of the, uh, the over ear um, flexible wire. So it actually will snugly fit into your ear and wrap around so it keeps it nice and secure in there. Now, when it comes to loudness, oh my gosh, these earbuds are ridiculously loud. In fact, probably too much so. It doesn't have as much bass kick as say the Raycons does but it definitely beats the Raycons when it comes to how loud it is. It's, it's not the best quality sound, but it's, it's doable. And here's the really cool thing, is I picked these dang things up for $11.99. Weigh that against $85. Uh, hello, Mi M6 is a little bit cheaper, wouldn't you agree? And its actual manufacturer suggested retail prices is at $29.99 at $30. And even at $30, I would say these earbuds are definitely worth it. Now, when it comes to the pros and cons, let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these items. The Raycon E55 is wireless. That means less mess, less stress. There's less distraction. There's less wires hanging around everywhere. So you're not slapping them out of your ears. But here's the cons. It's wireless, okay? And with wireless, you open yourself up to room for error. Uh, the batteries could die while you're live streaming or recording. Uh, you could have interference. You could have it where it's disconnecting. It could probably be dropping because the Bluetooth's not working on your device properly. Uh, any number of these things, even choppy sound. Now with the Mi M6, they actually have form-fitting wires. And again, this is nice because you can actually tuck it around your ear. And if you put the wire behind you, it's less distracting than say if you were, for instance, to do like the earbuds that come forward here or gigantic headphones that are super intrusive and very distracting to viewers. The con with the Mi M6 and its wire is that it's probably too short with the length you know, if you end up tucking this behind your head so it's less distracting to viewers and you, uh, it's you're going to have to have your computer directly behind you or, um, you know, having it to where you have an extension cord you have to plug this into. So I would say built into your budget, if you plan on getting the Mi M6 and you want to use it for live streaming and tucking it behind you, get an extension cord so that way you're able to plug it in without being encumbered by having to be right up next to your PC. So for this bout, the winner I will proclaim is the Mi M6. Hands down, Mi M6 won this round. Next round, the Raycon E55 has thump for days. I mean, it is really friggin' cool. You go from using, say, studio quality headphones to using the E55s, there is very little difference beyond the fact that you're not rattling your head, but you do rattle your eardrums because it does have some great bass quality and the volume gets pretty loud when you actually max it out. Now, it's, it's not too terrible, but that's a good thing because they're probably looking out for the uh, life of your eardrum. The con when it comes to the E55 is the fact that you actually have to do regular cleaning. This is nuts here. I don't have dirty ears by any stretch, but by using it 
you know, pretty much daily for when I go work out or I'm just meditating or I'm working, it does get earwax built up and you actually have to clean it. I actually have a video about that. I'm gonna leave a link inside the description down below and you can see how simple it is to get it cleaned out, but it's a pain that you have to go through and do that every now and then. The Mi M6 is loud, and when I mean loud, it is ridiculously loud. You won't have to max it out unless you wanna kill your eardrums. These things don't have the same kick that Raycon do. They claim they have some great ultra bass boost. I don't really notice it. I just notice that it is just extremely loud. The con, well, louder doesn't always equal better. If you've got bad hearing, then maybe the Mi M6s are probably for you. But, um, you know, in some instance like this, I would just say just kick back on the volume. So it's not a deal breaker for me by any stretch. So the winner for this round, I'm gonna proclaim Raycon E55 because they kill it in sound quality. Next round, the Raycon E55 is fairly discreet. And you know, you can, if depending on the color that you have, you can see just a little bump coming out of the ear, but it's not as, you know, distracting as a large set of headphones or some dangling wire hanging out of your ears. The big con when it comes to the Raycons, and if you're using it for live streaming, if you're a talker like me and you're kind of moving around and you articulate and you enunciate a lot what you say, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna to start to slip out. I've cleaned my ears before I've used these for live streams and time and again, they still continue to wiggle out. Uh, they have a good snug fit. I'm using the extra large gel tips and it's getting in there, but unfortunately they don't stay in there. The Mi M6, now they kind of have the same issue as what the E55 has, that they kind of wiggle loose, but the nice thing is there's a safety net there. They actually have the wire that secures it behind your ear, and if you cinch up the wires together behind your head, you have that back here, they won't go anywhere. The big con to something like this is you have to poke it in every now and then, but is that essential that you have to poke it in? Not really, because again, these Earbuds are loud, so if anything, I would say before you go to live stream next time, uh, put them on in there for about five to 10 minutes before you broadcast, and just as before you go live, um, if they're hanging out just a little bit, all right, turn up your volume just a little bit, and don't worry about keeping and pushing them in there because it's just gonna end up distracting you and your viewers. The winner for this round is Me M6. Final round. All right, here goes, comes the pricing. Okay, the Raycon E55s, their manufacturer suggested retail price is at $119. I got these puppies for $85. I think it was timing. That was very, very important, me getting these at a cheaper price. Now the Mi M6 actually comes at a manufacturer suggested retail price of $29.99, but every time that I've checked over on Amazon, they are typically marked at about $11.99, and that's what I got them for dirt cheap. The winner for this round, the Mi M6. If you want to save some money, then by all means, Mi M6 is definitely the thing for you, and especially when it comes to live streaming. So the judges just came back with their ruling, and the winner for the best earbuds for live streaming between the Raycon E55 and the Mi M6 is the Mi M6. Now, that's not to say that Raycon's products are complete garbage or anything else like that. They're fantastic for everyday life things. I just, I enjoy them for any time I'm working out, meditating, things like that. Now, when it comes to me M6, though, when it comes to live streaming, this is probably the best choice. And the funny thing is, is they're just, they're cheap. They're really cheap. But hey, if you're kind of like, okay, Dale, well, why did you mention E55? Well, E55 is still going to be a solution. Maybe you can try it out. In fact, I actually have a full video series where I talk about the E55, including the unboxing of it, some of the pros and cons of it, uh, the how to maintain it, all the setup and such in this video series down here. Go ahead and click that very first video and you'll see why I still love the E55s, maybe not for live streaming, but for everyday life. See you there.